What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Ascalon. I got Mrs. Ascalon here with me. Finally, we're doing part two of our Disney restaurant reviews. And so this time, we're going to be reviewing the boathouse for you guys. So we're excited to finally get to do that. Um, I don't know why we haven't done a video in about a month. Um, so, but now we're doing it now. So let's go ahead and get into it. The boathouse. So um, we're gonna talk about several things with the boathouse, um, kind of like we did with our first video with Topolino's Terrace, which by the way, um, if you're interested in eating at restaurant, I'll put a link down in the description below so you guys can check that one out as well. And we hope to continue to do these um, at least maybe once a month or so. So anyways, first thing we wanna talk about with the boathouse is the location. The boathouse is uh, located at Disney Springs, which used to be downtown Disney back in the day. So that is the sort of shopping center that is on Disney property. It has tons and tons and tons and tons of eating places. Yes, and stores. And, and, and this is typically regarded as the best or one of the best. And it's kind of... What would you say exactly is located in Disney Springs? Do you kind of remember? On the water? Yes, definitely. <laughs> uh, by the water that's yeah. there. And we're going to actually talk a little bit more about that It's later. not too far from... I mean, Which, like, you can park in the Lime Garage and pretty okay. much go straight in. All right, so the next thing we want to talk about is what type of restaurant it is before we get to the good part and talk about the food. So it's a Gibson's restaurant. Um, it mostly serves seafood, but I think the Gibson restaurants are known for more like steaks. Steaks, yeah. And this restaurant does serve Gibson Heritage steaks. So if you're not a big seafood person, they have really good steak options. But if you do like seafood, like they me. have a, yeah, she really loves seafood. And I, I've gotten better about seafood. Um, so it's a really good place to go if you want some fresh. <laughs> I beat her to it. That's like her favorite word. If you want some fresh seafood definitely check out the boathouse. So atmosphere, um, let's talk a little bit about what the restaurant looks like. Um, so when you first approach it outside, there's like a, I think a boat out in front to let you know that it's the boathouse. <laughs> well, it is um, on the lake there at Disney Springs and there's a dock with like a little bar in it and stuff like that. You can sit outside. Yeah. Uh, when we went, the weather was not that great. So it there were a few raining. people at the bar, but nobody was sitting, you know, at the tables outside. The umbrellas were pulled down and everything, but it was still a good experience. It was raining cats and dogs that day. It was crazy. I'm so glad we decided not to go back to Hollywood Studios this evening. It rained the whole time we were there. Yeah, it pretty much <laughs> did. Like, not not the typical Florida rain No, either. like, low-pressure system, thunderstorm kind of rain. <laughs> yeah, so basically nobody was eating outside when we went. Yeah. Um, and there's one cool thing that I noticed when we were inside that I really liked, and I would love to do this in the future. There's one table that is a boat inside the restaurant, and you can sit at that table. And so I think there was, like, a family sitting there yeah. when we walked in. So fun. that was really cool. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, big open restaurant. I think it's kind of open. It's yeah. very big. It has a lot of seating in it. They can hold a lot of people at once. Um, one thing about that, let me just say, you can make reservations, uh, dining reservations for the boathouse in the Disney app, but sometimes it fills up quickly. If you go on their website, you can actually make re reservations through Open Table, which is what I did. So if you find that you can't find a reservation in the Disney app, try Open Table because there's usually some available. So that's that's definitely good advice, good info. Um, not all disney springs restaurants do that like chef art smith uh homecoming doesn't do that this this is one that does so it's a good option well what i was going to say earlier really quick let's back up for a second there's a lot of windows there which makes sense because it's on the water you want to have a good Pretty. view to be able to look outside and different things although all we could see was gray clouds that day as for the price of this restaurant it is not your cheapest option at disney world however I, for me and for most people, I think who eat there, you are getting what you paid for because, like we said, it's it's very fresh seafood. They have really good quality steaks. Um, on Disney's website, they put it in the range of thirty five to fifty nine ninety nine for the average adult. Um, most of the entrees are between twenty and fifty, depending on what you get. They were maybe like 
a few sandwich options that were, were under, under 20, 20 but yeah. most are between 20 and 50. So the food there, I feel, was really good. Um, probably amazing. Um, and again, I'm not big into seafood, but I really enjoyed what we had. So we started off with an appetizer, and we had firecracker shrimp, which is like bang bang shrimp at other restaurants, you know, kind of spicy and sweet. Like a fried sauce. shrimp appetizer with some sort of spicy sauce on it. Yeah. However, this one was different for us was different from what you usually get. What we found different about it, uh, first of all, it was a little bit lighter of a fry. Mm -hmm. I felt like it wasn't like, you know, maybe quite as greasy or as heavy with the breading. And we like that. Um, like that's how they do it, you know, typically in Louisiana, which is where her family is from. And so we actually just got back from New Orleans where we ate a lot of shrimp. That was we ate that a way. ton of seafood. <laughs> but anyways, let's continue to talk about the boathouse. So, yeah, lighter fry. Um, it was still spicy. Okay, whereas most restaurants, the sauce has a little bit of sweetness. This one didn't. No. It was it was tangy. Mm -hmm. it, it almost had, like, I don't want to say citrus, but it did seem like it had some sort of, like, lime juice maybe in it. Um, it was... It was still spicy. Yeah, it was very, And I very think it good. tasted better. Like, I love Bang Bang Shrimp, don't get me wrong. Like, I asked oh, yeah. for it for a birthday meal one year. Um, but I felt like the firecracker shrimp was definitely better. Like, I would really like to try that again. We really enjoyed it. And it, you, some of, there were the little Serrano chilies in there. So you could eat those as well. They were fried. Um, but it was very good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Definitely good appetizer. So, Last time, I think I went first about what I had. So I'm going to let Mrs. Ascalon tell you guys what she had when okay. we went. All right. So when we went. Which was in June. Yes. Um, I had heard about the lobster roll. Now, let me preface this with I am not from the Northeast. I am not from New England. That was my phone. <laughs> uh, so for all of you out there who are very schooled in lobster lobster rolls, Please don't at me. Okay, I'm doing the best I can. And I know good seafood because I'm from South Louisiana. But lobster rolls are not really in my wheelhouse. Yeah. Um, so what I had heard is, so here's the description of the lobster rolls from the website. Okay. Maine style lobster roll. And this was $29.50. Chilled Maine lobster, lemon chive dressing, butter toasted split top bun served with fresh cut fries. Okay. Well. People argue a lot about whether you're supposed to eat a lob lobster roll, hot or cold. And I had heard that if you ask, you can get this lobster roll instead of with the filled with the dressing, you can get it hot with drawn butter. And so that's what I ordered. And it was very good. The lobster was cooked perfectly. I enjoyed it. Um, the French fries were really fresh and good. Uh, See, fresh. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was very delicious. I would say the one criticism that I have okay. is that for me the bun to lobster ratio was a little off like I ended up using my fork and just you know eating the lobster out of the bun because it was so much bread Fair enough. it was your yeah. typical split top bun but you know I do that with po' boys too if I eat a shrimp po' po boy usually toward the end I'm eating the shrimp with a fork because I just get tired of all the bread so that's that's really probably more of a personal thing. Why I would like to try it again, but the other way. With okay, the chilled. so the, the chilled one. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know. Next time we go, I probably will try something different. Um, maybe one of the fish dishes. But it was very good, and I I enjoyed it, and I was glad I had that recommendation from people because it was it was delicious. Thank you, people, for recommending that to her. <laughs> um, so I had the shrimp and andouille mac and cheese. Um, which had shrimp in it, a lot of shrimp. Like, at first, I didn't think it had a lot of shrimp in it. I was goes, confusing the shrimp with the pasta noodle. He goes, he goes, this this doesn't have a lot of shrimp in it. And then as he, I kind of took a bite. I said, all, that's all shrimp in there. It was the exact same shape, shape. and size as the pasta. And you know, with cheese there. on it, it all looked it the looked, same. <laughs> yeah, no, it was chock full of shrimp. <laughs> yeah. So it had a lot of shrimp. It had a lot of sausage in it as well. And I think the the, the pasta was actually pipette. Pasta, I think that's what it says on the website. Um, and so it was just really good. It had like a spicy cheddar beer sauce it to it. It didn't taste like your typical mac and cheese Yeah, sauce. and it she was, liked it. And she's not I'm big not on macaroni mm -mm, and cheese. Mm -mm. But it tasted almost more like a Creole than mm -hmm. a cheesy sauce, I yes. guess. Tell them what you put on top. And then I added lobster. Um, I think it was a couple of dollars extra. I can't remember exactly he how added much. It to the top. But um, you add lobster and they, yeah, they put some on the top. And there was a lot of lobster in there too. Like it was just... 
phenomenal. It was really good. I I didn't have a criticism. Like I I destroyed it. I ate it all up. Um, <laughs> and it, it was came so with like a um like a I don't know French bread toast on the side yeah. too. Which I'm not big on bread, so I don't even know if I... I might have taken a bite of it. I think you I, I, think I it. used it to dip up your sauce at the end a little bit. that's what she does. But, yeah. So, highly recommend the shrimp and andouille mac and cheese. Really good. Yep. And then drinks-wise, we did have a drinky drink. A dull beverage. Because <laughs> we was on vacation. Now, here's the thing. I, I like beer. Um, but when I go to restaurants, I, I typically like to try... They're cocktails, especially when we're out of town. He's not ashamed to get a fruity cocktail. I'm not. And because, that's okay. you know, it's just like, I want to try different things, especially if they have drinks that I may not be able to get here at home. So I had, <laughs> this is funny. I had the Duck Duck Raz, which is Stoli Raz Vodka. Uh, it's got peach schnapps in it, blue curacao, uh, lemon juice, and simple syrup. And they they brought it out in like a little wine it's glass, blue. <laughs> like some it sort of like a margarita, margarita glass. glass. There you go. And I mean it's blue. And they put a little little rubber toy duck. Yeah, I think that's a Gibson <laughs> thing. Like the the duck. I don't know thing. I don't know. Yeah, we <laughs> but, have pictures of it, so I'll probably definitely pop some pictures up. I mean, it in looks this like video. a little duck floating in a in a <laughs> bathtub or something. Yeah, of like blue blue water. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh yeah, so it was it was a really good drink. I enjoyed it, so I was glad I tried the duck duck grass. So <laughs> if you like fruity drinks, then try that one if you go to the boathouse. And then tell them what and you then had. I I just got the old fashioned, um, it's your typical old fashioned, but it had a uh, the bourbon was called Heaven's Door Bourbon. It was very good. Yeah, I never heard I, of I, Heaven's I like Door Bourbon um before. So anyway, so that was the food and what we ate. <laughs> um, again, they have, you know, other types of seafood. They have steaks. It's a really big menu. And it's yes. unlike some of the other restaurants in the Disney area, to me, their menu was not condensed due to COVID. And I think so that was nice to have all that to choose yeah, from. I think that's because, you know, they're not owned by Disney, right? I mean, it's partially it, but I think, I don't know, that they do good. <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of doing well. We had a really good server. Her name was, okay, it's spelled P-H-E-L-A-N. We think. I think that's how it was spelled. No, that is how it was spelled. Because I remember thinking it was like Felan, like Spanish. Ooh, and we were debating pretty. over how to pronounce it. So when she came to the table, oh, we said, okay, we asked her. <laughs> tell us how to pronounce your name. And she said it was pronounced Fallon. Fallon did a wonderful job. She was very knowledgeable. She was very quick. She was very friendly. Very fast. She was very nice. We so. didn't have a big wait for our stuff to get to our table either no like i feel like there our stuff came out a lot quicker than it did at topolino they stairs. were hopping too yeah it was crowded and yeah they were really crowded so um we did ask to they originally put us at a seat that was kind of near where everybody right was walking kitchen. past yeah. yeah and so we we asked to move and they they moved us by the um, window. and so we got to sit by the window and have a view outside to the rain but <laughs> at least we had a view of yeah. the dock area and stuff so speaking of the dock area so the next thing we want to cover so service was great uh Fallon did a good job. <laughs> I will turn that like out of now, but Yeah, but spelled differently. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to kind of talk about, and we didn't do this with Topolino's Terrace. So this is something we want to. So yeah. Really. Yeah. This is something we want to kind of do with each restaurant. We want to talk about either like the history or like give you guys some fun facts about the restaurant before we close and kind of give you our personal rating of like what we will rate the restaurant. So the first thing I want to talk about is. Uh, the Boathouse offers what's called amphi cars, tours. Now, of course, some of these things we may mention here, I don't know if they're still doing it um, uh, like after the pandemic and everything. You know, Disney is steadily bringing stuff back that they used to do. Yeah, the day we were there, they were not doing the amphi cars, which are basically these little like car boats that you can sit in and go on, on the lake. You can yeah, pay so to... I'll read yeah. what the website says. So this well, is my turn to read what well, the website says. Before you do, let me say, I think, I don't know if they have not brought it back yet or if they were not offering them because the weather was bad yeah. that day, because you, you don't want to be in an amphi car when it's lightning. So, so if you want to eat there, just, you know, check into it yeah. and see when you make your reservations right, and such. So amphi car tour. So the boathouse is the only place in the world that offers the unforgettable and thrilling experience of a captain's guided tour in a vintage amphi car. These rare cars drive on land and enter the water with a splash, taking you on a captain guided 25 minute tour of the landmarks of Disney Springs. It says our fleet of amphi cars were purchased from private collections worldwide. 
That's pretty cool. There were less than 4,000 of these unique amphibious vehicles produced during the 1960s. Less than 400 exist worldwide today. And see, I had never heard of that. And so I thought that was something that's really cool. I would like to do one one day. I think that's fun. Well, hold on before you say that. Uh -oh. I do want to add this. First of all, the tours are only allowed when weather is permitting. So again, that might have been why they weren't running the day we were there. You can do walk-up reservations for it, but it's $125 per car. And it sits up to three to four people um, in each car per tour. So, you know, if you go with three other people, <laughs> you can split that and it won't be as bad. That'll be like, what, like um, about 30 a person? If, or if you want to do something different while you're down at Disney World and, you know, you have a little cash to spend, that's something fun and different that you can do. Yeah. You know, similar to like going to play the mini golf or you know, that you always want to do. <laughs> and we never do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like we have to go early in the morning. You also have to make reservations. You have to make reservations for everything in Disney. So just get used. Except to for it. the Amphicar tour, you can do walk ups. I don't know how long you have to wait though. Yeah, right. Um. So yeah. So I thought that was neat that I wanted to share. Um. And then the next thing we want to talk about, they do have a gift shop. So at the end of our dinner, you know, after we paid, um, we went and looked in their gift shop, and that's called the Boathouse Boutique. Boutique. And it was a really cute little gift shop. They had a lot of t shirts. Of like, you know, sort of like sailing, nautical-related T-shirts and things like that. With, like, had, interesting puns and mm -hmm, stuff. They had them. some jewelry, things like that. Uh, they also had, uh, they sold Gibson's steak seasoning, it, which they had several um, different flavors, I guess. But I went ahead and bought one because I was like, well, that's kind of a fun little souvenir, and I can actually use it to cook. I forgot about it. <laughs> but uh, it, And we I, made burgers recently, too, that we I probably could have used as well. But anyway, here... Here it is. I'll show you. Oh, here's my little boathouse bag. Um, here is Gibson. All right. So that's what we got. It's uh, it's yummy. We tasted it at our table because I was like, "What is this?" Oh, so yeah. I just kind of like sprinkled them on my plate and tasted it, and I was like, "That's good." So that's how I knew when we got to the gift shop that I wanted to get some later. I know there's like some sort of barbecue seasoning too. And, yeah, they had uh, like they had a, maybe a Cajun three, one too. Yeah, um, but yeah. I just got the original. All right, we got a couple other cool things about the boathouse. Um, so apparently they do live music from 8 p.m. until midnight. Again, we didn't witness that because we went earlier. First of all, and again, post pandemic, I don't know, yeah. you know, if that went away. But I think they were fully seating people in the restaurant. Uh, the day that we went, there was no restrictions um, really on like yeah, seating. I'm not really sure. So the live music might be back. So again, if you make a reservation uh, to go to the boathouse, that may be something you want to look into. Talk about our personal ratings okay. on a scale of one to ten. <laughs> All right, she may hurt me a little bit for this. I gave Tobolino's Terrace a nine out of ten. I'll give the boathouse a nine and a half out of ten. I have one little small, and it, this is just my own like little pet peeve. About the boathouse, I felt the seating was a little tight, like the tables well, they, were kind of close together. Um, and so I didn't really have anybody sitting behind me, but we had people sitting uh, like beside us. And I just felt like a little claustrophobic in there. That's why I won't give it a 10 out of 10. Um, but it seats a lot of people, so I guess that's a good thing. But I really enjoyed, really enjoyed it. Good. Like that, <laughs> that shrimp and doing mac and cheese, like y'all. He keeps talking about y'all. <laughs> You just, you don't even know unless you've tried it. <laughs> if you haven't, you need to. So. Um, all What's right. Yours? For me, I'm, I'm going to give it an eight. Okay. Eight, eight and a half. I knew it was going to be lower than Tobolino Stairs. Well, <laughs> part of it is, you know, I, my, I would like to try something else there. Um, the lobster roll was good. And yeah. I think probably because you were a little underwhelmed with it a little bit. No, I wasn't. It, it was the bread. But I okay. mean, again, I think that that's maybe like a personal thing. So that's why I'm, I want to go back for something else. Um, the other thing is it was kind of loud in there. Yeah. And it's a little noisy, but uh, it was very solid. I'd say eight and a half. I'll give it an eight. Okay, eight and a half. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. It's it's definitely worth a visit. It is a little pricey, but for a you know a special dinner or something, you no know, birthday something like that, it's definitely solid. All right, cool. Well, that wraps up our review. I think we covered everything that we wanted to cover. So I really hope that this video will help you out if you're interested in going to the boathouse. Um, one thing I want to say, you know, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed the content. If we we helped you guys out um, as far as planning your your next Disney trip and 
leave a comment. If you have any restaurants that you would love to see us review, I mean, we've eaten at a bunch of them and we were planning, we're going back in October. So we're planning to eat at some other ones. And so um, just drop that in the comments below and we might do a review of we're, that restaurant. We're going back the week of the 50th anniversary is going to be madhouse <laughs> but i'm looking forward to it. i yeah. always do it's gonna be fun we got boobash tickets mm -hmm. um so that's gonna be fun so we get to do experience and that his younger sister and her friends are going as well so we're gonna meet up with them a couple times yeah oh we get to go back to ohana oh yeah ohana is, is has it reopened or it's reopening yes, so that will probably be a restaurant that we review oh, yeah. pretty soon in the future so <laughs> look out for that but anyways it's your boy Ascalon. Got Mrs. Ascalon here. Um, I'm on social media, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all at Ascalon. So you can check me out there for um, you know, more content, different things that you may not see in these videos. I do video game playthroughs. So just hit that subscribe His button. TikTok is cute because he puts our dog on there sometimes. Yeah, our, <laughs> our dog makes an appearance on TikTok. He hasn't made one yet on YouTube, but that might happen in the future. But anyways, going to wrap this up. Y'all take care. We'll see y'all next time in another video. Peace. Bye.